Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you to keep yourself from idols. At the end of uh, the book of 1 John, uh, chapter 5, the very last verse, it says in verse 21, Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. In my reading today, I've been reading Deut Deuteronomy chapter 4, and Moses is going through all the things that he's been taught or the children of Israel have learned from God. And one thing that he seems to uh, harbour on quite a bit is this, uh, is the making of idols and things. And it says this in, well it starts from verse 13. Now I'm going to make a proviso statement here. I know we are not under the law. Even we're not under the Ten Commandments, right? We are no longer under the law, but under grace. But God is still the same God as he always was. He is always, he's unchanging. And Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. So I just want to establish that. We're not under the law. We're not trying to keep the law. We're under grace. But the same God lives in us and he is still going to teach us the same sorts of things and the thing is here as it says that in verse 14 and the Lord commanded me at that time to teach you statutes and judgments that you might do them in the land where you go over to possess it Take you therefore good heed unto yourselves, for you saw no manner of similitude on the day that the Lord spoke unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire. So we know God is spirit, he's not a man, so you can't see God. No man has seen God at any time, the Bible says. So it says, I'll go back and say, for you saw no manner of similitude, on the day that the Lord spoke unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire, lest, now this is the thing here, lest you corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, and the likeness of any winged fowl that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth and lest you lift up your eyes unto heaven and when you see the sun and the moon and the stars even all the host of heaven should be driven to worship them and serve them which the Lord your God has divided unto all nations unto heaven so he's warning them and later on he says if, if you do these things you know, you'll be taken out of the land I'm going to give you and it's very interesting because Paul in Romans 1 uh, says this about people for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven verse 18 chapter 1 of Romans for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God has showed it to them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. I'm down in verse up to 23 now, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. 
Now it goes on further and says what people get, the sins that people get uh, get defiled by, what they what they fall into. This this idolatry is what we're talking about. Leads into and first the first thing it leads into is sexual sin, and then all this other evil stuff comes, and we can see the effect of it in the nations in the world today. And it's very stark, and that's why. John said, little children, keep yourself from idols. And you'll note in that passage from Deuteronomy 4, any image, any similitude, any statue of any created thing, animal or human. Now, I'll leave that up to you, between you and the Lord, but I'm not sure that we're supposed to have any of those sorts of things. In case we're in danger of worshipping them, you know, there are people that have little their households a, a lot of especially the older generation i know my mum's a bit like that they have these cabinets and they're full of these uh, little statues and and ornament ornaments they're called we call them ornaments but you know anything happens to one of those things and it's like the whole world ends so let's get before god i'm not going to put a thing on you but i just wanted to let let us be careful about that and make sure that we're worshipping the, the, the God of heaven and not the creation that he made. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. And I know of a man one day who told me the story about some people who had got some figurines I think I don't know where they got them from but they were certain types of figurines and what was happening in the house was because these things were present and it may have been because they were made in a certain country and had certain curses or prayers made over them certain manifestations were happening in the people in the house because these things were there and when they got rid of them and renounced them they were free so just don't go on a super religious thing about it. Really just humbly ask God and seek if there's anything in your house, anything in your life and in my life that shouldn't be there. We need to ask the Lord what it is and, and remove it. So that's my encouragement for you today. Keep yourself from idols. God bless you. Have a great day.